Absolutely. And tonight, a big update. We want to go to Andy Judson, who's outside Sacramento County Jail, where one man is facing charges in connection to the shooting. Andy. Yeah, Madison. Police arrested 26-year-old DeAndre Martin earlier today for assault with a deadly weapon as well as having an illegal firearm. And he's, he's here at the Sacramento County Main Jail. He's being held with no bail and is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. Police also recovered a handgun during a search at three homes in the area. Chief Lester spoke about it earlier today. Take a listen. Less than 48 hours after the shooting that left six dead and 12 injured, Sacramento police have arrested a man. 26-year-old DeAndre Martin. He was arrested for uh, being involved in the shooting as well as being a prohibited person in possession of a firearm. While investigators continue to dig into Martin's involvement in the shooting, ABC 10 found he also has an outstanding warrant for charges in Riverside County relating to domestic violence. His arrest today is just one of the first steps taken in an investigation that's far from over. We are searching for multiple suspects and that is our priority. While searching three homes in the area, police also recovered a handgun. It's the second gun they found after also finding a stolen handgun at the scene. We have recovered over a hundred shell casings from the area and of those shell casings we know that we have at least two different calibers of ammunition that were used. Police have called this a complex investigation multiple times and asked the public for help, including videos of the incident. Over 100, actually, that have been submitted by the public. Something former Sacramento Sheriff John McGinnis knows is essential in solving a complicated crime like this one. If there's a, a, a video or a still shot that shows a car with a license plate on it. As well as the crime scene itself. My thoughts are along the lines of days, not, not hours until the scene is adequately uh, processed. And we just got information that Martin had a number of criminal charges against him, including aggravated assault out of Arizona. Police are still looking into the motive for the shooting that occurred early Sunday morning. Of course, when we get more information, we'll keep you updated. Andy, thank you again. This is rapidly developing new information into our newsroom. Andy, thanks.